welcome to another Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Today, we're going to unbox an expansion to Rum and Bones. And this expansion is Mercenaries Heroes Set Number 1. Now, what is Rum and Bones? Now, Rum and Bones, uh, in fact, this is the first edition. There is a second edition that has a lot of content as well, but... Uh, I started collecting the first edition, which has quite a bit of expansions to it, of which this is just one of them. Um, and it's a, it's a pirate game. It's a ship-to-ship -ship combat game that's kind of based on uh, a MOBA. You know, MOBAs are online, uh, multiplayer online battle arenas. Uh, one of the more famous ones of those is League of Legends. But it's a situation where you have these minions that are spawning and they keep going down paths and your, you know, your, your characters, your heroes need to kind of mow them down. And as they mow them down, they get more uh, experience and points and then they can get better gear and features and spells or abilities or what have you. And then, um, and then eventually you're going to fight the other side's heroes as well. There's the battle arena aspect. Well, Rum and Bones does that with pirates. And so there's going to be a couple of different kinds of minions that are constantly going from one ship to the other. And in some of the expansions, there might be even be three ships. But uh, they're going from one ship to the other on this kind of a constant flow. They keep you know respawning and then moving forward. And you're having to deal with them. But at the same time, you're having to deal with the heroes of the other side, which, of course, have all kinds of special abilities. Now, you don't necessarily get um, a lot of new special abilities from mowing down the uh, minions, but you know you got to deal with them because they're uh, they're in your way, and you you're having to capture, you know, or or take over or destroy certain aspects of the other party's ships in order to uh, other ship to win the game. I guess you know with three. This, there's one. I guess there's one of the expansions has three ships, so it might be more than one ship. Um, so, uh, so th these, what these are, these are mercenaries. So these are heroes that you can add in. Now the, the base game came with, uh, some factions, uh, two factions. Then there's been a, a, for the first edition, there was at least, I think two, maybe three. I, I I've got two of them and I put them all in one box or one of them is in the expansion box, but, uh, uh other factions and they would bring out new factions, uh, and then they also came out with mercenaries, and mercenaries are just that, they're mercenaries. You can mix and match them with any faction that you want, uh, but there's basically five roles, uh, and this one, this was mercenary set one. I have all the other mercenaries uh, th that go along with this, but I didn't have set one, so uh, this was a Kilroy's bargain. I found this on sale, uh, uh, at end of year type sale, and uh, picked it up, but... Um, so this this one gives you a captain, a swashbuckler, and a quartermaster. The other two roles are gunner and uh, let's see, quartermaster, captain, swashbuckler. What am I missing? Oh, brute. Uh, uh, you you need to have a gunner and brute are the other two roles that you would have on your team. You'd have those five roles on your team. And these these mercenaries can kind of mix and match in here. So you're going to get Captain Sarah Kale, uh, Sinbad the Swashbuckler, you may have heard of him, uh, Sir Alexander the Quartermaster. And they have a little bit of backstory here as well. Uh, what you get in here, which let's get in the box and see what you get in here. And this is more kind of just a brief introduction to Rum and Bows. I might get it to the table and... Uh, Maybe do a after action or talk a little bit about the gameplay or talk a little bit about the other factions and stuff that you can get in this game. I liked it. Uh, I never got in again, never got into the second edition stuff, but my uh, my son and I like this game. My son plays uh, quite a bit of uh, League of Legends and other uh, MOBAs, and uh, I did for a while. But uh, I, I I thought this was an interesting adaptation of that online gameplay to a to a board game so there are the minis that you get in the game and as i said the uh all the uh captains are white minis the swashbucklers are yellow and the uh oh, well, there we go got them out uh and then the um the quartermasters are red the brutes i believe are green and the gunners are purple so there are the minis and they're not bad i'm not a painter so i just keep them 
with the color that they are. And there's rings that you can put around the base to keep track of who's who as you're jumping ship to ship. And so these guys uh, and gals are, you know, popping all over between ships and doing, you know, extra damage because they have extra abilities or special abilities. And then, but you have those minions that are just kind of keep, keep coming, you know, they keep spawning and keep driving uh, over across the ship. So there's the captain and they're single sided because, you know, you just have this on the board, but you know, she's got three abilities here. Uh, and it tells you what they do. So she's got three special abilities, and that's her life. Um, put that right there. And then you've got your uh, swashbuckler Sinbad, his three abilities that he has in the life. And the art is cool. I mean, it's, you know, as I said, it's kind of, I put this in the sci fi fantasy because it's, it's fantastic. It's, it's very much uh, somewhat of a fantasy based pirates. Although they might have some real names of some characters, uh, like there's one, there's a cat, Napoleon's a captain in here. Lord Nelson is a uh, swashbuckler. They're really not. You know, it really has no basis in history. That uh, it's closer to a MOBA than it is to any history. So this is interesting. His special abilities are, uh, huh, kind of moving stuff around. Interesting. So he kind of he deals with those minions. Minions are the boat swains and uh, uh, deckhands, and so he he manipulates them. I don't know if I don't I don't know if I've seen a lot of people that have manipulated them. So here we go. Let's put the captain there, Alexander there, and Sinbad there. So there you have it. That is what you get in a box of mercenaries hero set number one. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know, I think they're, I think the, the, a lot of these are backward compatible to the first or, or I guess forward compatible to the first, to the second edition. I think they just tightened up some of the rules in second edition. Um, as I said, I've, I've stuck with all first edition content and I think you can use it interchangeably somewhat in there. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. If you've played Roman Bones, let me know if you've, uh, if you, what you think about it, uh, or if you prefer the second edition, tell me what the differences are there. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you today, and hope you're having a good one. This will go in, into my sci-fi fantasy, uh, fantasy and uh, pirate playlist. How about that? Anyway, thanks all. Take care. Thanks for watching.